Bye, Bye guys. guys. <laughs> We're sort of just walked out the door. Right? How y'all doing today? Sarah. We're doing a drive with me today and it's like, I didn't even check the time. It's 6.50, but it's already dark. Also, sorry about the really loud golf cart. Oh, and all the bugs are going to be coming over here. Uh, yeah, that's what I was just looking at. So I hope you guys enjoy this great video. It's going to be because great quality. Lighting, Wait, yeah. okay, this is okay lighting. Also, a person just passed us <laughs> as we were trying to figure out where that is so embarrassing. <laughs> show them, show them what it, what's going on. Okay, here. well, I also want to make sure that's the mirror if you can't tell. We are so sorry. Sorry, this video is awful and we're gonna have to scream again. So today we're gonna be talking about <laughs> Quit moving. <laughs> oh <my God>. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be great. This is gonna be the best video you've ever watched. There is many reasons we dropped her. Like a yeah. lot. First of all, we caught her in many lines on multiple occasions. Oh, this is lying on many different occasions about many different things. Also, the next story we're telling is like the main reason we stopped being friends, actually. Like, it was like the breaking point. That's very interesting. So, this story and the next story kind of like go together a little bit. She was just a very manipulative person and she just said like a lot of lies. She created a lot of like problems within our friend group that didn't even happen. Do you remember that time that she told you and Kenzie or even Carly won? That I was mad at y'all and we were on the yes. phone with each other. But that, anyway, yeah, that was not that was cool. So bad. And it was over like a group chat with me, my guy friend, that I'm still friends with to this day, and another friend, but we're not like as close. And we had a group chat and she was telling us that everyone in the um, group was like mad at us for having a group chat. A group yeah. chat! Like, I, okay, I didn't even care that they had a group chat and we're talking because like, why would I get mad over that? Are your legs going to be long enough to hold the guy in the group? I'm going to my arms. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm like five feet. Well, I'm a giant, I'm like five seven. So I have that issue, but I have a lot of other issues. Such as not being able to wear high heels a lot because guys get insecure. At our middle school, there is this thing called Builders Club. And me and one of the other girls out of our friend group at the time was in Builders Club together. And basically in Builders Club, we go to the elementary school and help out with the elementary school kids just because I guess we wanted to. <laughs> and we were going to get on the bus from like, I don't know what period was it. I mean, it was it fifth or fifth? It was either fifth. We are eating lunch, so it would be fourth. Oh. In middle school, I think it was four. Yeah, okay, well. Anyway, there was some time during there. And we were leaving to load the buses for Builders Club because we got done eating lunch. Me and the girl that I was friends with walked past the lunchroom door and we always sat right at the table, like right in line with the door. Like you could see our table from the door. And we walked past and they're all sitting over there with this girl. And like all of us have already established that we don't like anymore and we're not friends with her anymore so like you can imagine when we saw her sitting over there we were like um excuse me second of all i just don't know i don't like this girl anymore so then i kind of went off at the time so we had like four people there including her it was me i mean i have to click their names but and, and so was still friends with behind all of our backs and I'm just sitting up here giving her like this death glare but at the time I still think I would be to this day I wasn't like bold enough to be like go away that's like my place in the group I'm that blunt friend that's just like I don't like you leave they were all like they've gotten better about it but back in middle school they were all like really nice and didn't really have a backbone for nothing after that day also one of the people who were over there who supposedly didn't like her was like we should have a sleepover and just not tell them and I was like, like not tell me and other girls and, other stuff. and so I told her because we have I mean like we we were like really close but I felt like we weren't as close as we were past at the time but I still told her. Yes. And I was like obviously like really angry about it. Because like okay if you tell me that you don't like somebody and you don't want to talk to them, be friends with them and what an awful person they are, then you wanna go and have a sleepover with them like that just gives me red flags. 
flags everywhere. I think maybe we should move to the next topic. Look how long this already is. That's the end of this topic. Look at the car behind this us. This is so bad. I'm an idiot. I had the burp, sorry. <laughs> So next we are going to be talking about Chris. I'm not even gonna bleep his name. If you're watching this, hey. <laughs> oh. I won't be talking about the time that Chris said that he liked me when he really did it and almost asked me out in person. He had liked one of my best friends for a really long time. And we were, no, I was having a sleepover with Ross and he just takes me out of the blue saying, hey. Then all of a sudden he starts talking about how he likes me and stuff. And I'm like, huh? I'm like, girl, you don't like me. You don't like me like that. I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, but you don't like me. He's over here telling me about like how he likes me and stuff. And this is how it correlates to the last story kind of. Okay, so I obviously told and then I didn't know if I liked him or not. Like I was trying to think. I was like, do I really like him? And then I was like, maybe I do. I don't know. That's what I told him. And then she goes and tells him that I like him. And so, another one of her lies. And then, so Chris is like, oh, well, I'm just gonna ask her out in person. I'm like, huh? He's like, I can't do that. And obviously, I got really mad at her. He got his hopes up, first of all, which he didn't really because he didn't even like me. But it was really bad. So I had to tell him, like, over text that I didn't like him. That's so awkward. Then I come to find out the next day, he was telling the girl that he liked at the time that he didn't even like me. He maybe liked me like this much. This kids are outside. Hey! Go, 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 go. They're over there. <laughs> I think that's everything about the whole... <laughs> These people probably think we're crazy. Also, I'm really bad at holding the camera. I'm sorry. Wait, see, every time it like moves. Look, like, this is your story to tell and yours only. I'll just be sitting back watching the show. <laughs> so, basically, I was home by myself and I was walking my dog and I just so happened to bring a taser with me that night with my phone. So, wait, there's this tree in the front of my yard right by the road and I took my dog up there because that's where, like, she liked to smell around the tree and everything else. So, we were standing right by the tree and this car is coming down the road and, like, that's normal cars go down the road, like, uh. And so, the car, like, started it's going really really slow and it almost stops like right beside me at the tree and then it like went up on this little side road and it just stopped and then these three people got out of the car i could tell that one of them was like a female because i could see her because she had her phone out and she was talking to somebody on the phone she was on the phone so i could see her and then the other two i couldn't see them because they had like dark pants on and hoods over their heads so like i'm sitting here thinking i'm about to get kidnapped and so i turned the taser on and when i turn my taser on it flashes because it goes from off the flashlight to on so it flashed and they kind of paused and were like looking around like what is that and then they crossed the road and they were like going into my ditch they were in the middle of my ditch i took the taser like by my head and i zapped it twice and then they went back on the road and then like i ran in my house like even though like if my dog's a even though i have my dog and a taser i ain't trying to die is that it yeah that's literally it okay do you have a problem with that sarah we're gonna call him billy uh oh, <laughs> it looked like you got whiplash. This isn't that bad, I don't think. I don't, like how we don't really know what to call it. Yeah, I, li <laughs> I like to just think that I was being dramatic. It's really not that bad, I don't think. Actually, comment down below if this is bad because I really don't know. Okay, we can start off first by saying back during this time when this happened, we were pretty good friends with this dude. Pretty good friends with Billy. <laughs> we, at the time, like, I feel like we were being a little bit dramatic over it, but like, that's for you to judge. Okay. Okay, so the first one that I can remember, do you guys like my pants? <laughs> Sorry. So the first thing that I can really remember, this is the first thing that pops up in my head. This was, I think this all happened in eighth grade, I'm pretty sure. But, you know, we had like lockers like right next to each other. Like mine was here and his was here. And, you know, I'm just trying to mind my business, you know, getting stuff out of my locker to go to my next class. And he just like rubs my side like this. And then he's like, I like touching girls that way. And I was like, and then I slapped him in the face. I'm literally not kidding. I was like, hey girl, 
like I'm not doing this today. Oh, and then this stuff was all in the same day and I thought that it would go on for longer but it only happened for like a day and he just kind of stopped and it started with this. So I had Doritos for lunch and also the jokes at lunch. At lunch he always with everything it didn't matter if it was a sandwich or yogurt or like cheese sticks like literally anything he would make a sexual joke about it. Like if you ate yogurt then like he would act like you were like Mm -hmm. You know, if you and don't get it, you're not old yeah. enough. <laughs> also, like, he's been making these jokes for a long time, and a lot of the jokes at the time I literally didn't get because I was <laughs> so young, and I don't know, I don't even know. I was a little bit more of an innocent child. I found out a lot of things through him and his jokes. It started out, I was eating Doritos, and he wanted a Dorito, and I was like, okay, sure, you can have a Dorito. And I'm holding the Dorito that I was going to give him, and I kid you not, he just, like, starts his hand all the way like down here and then just starts like rubbing up my arm and then just took the Dorito from me and I was like after this we had a band yeah right right after that we had <laughs> band and I'm just trying to walk in and he's waiting at the door and I walked past him and I didn't say anything and he like jerked me back and then he like rubbed my arm again and then he just like winked at me and I was like just Girl. stuff that like makes you highly uncomfortable and then I walk into the cubby room and it's just like us two or no I think Carly was in there but then he like puts me like in a chokehold and I didn't really know what to do in the situation because I was like um hello so my first like instinct is to like bend down and go around and I think you know what he was saying because like when she bent down like obviously her butt like pushed into him yeah. but like she didn't mean it like that she was yeah. trying to get out of a chokehold which he shouldn't have put her in, in the first place i think that's all that i can remember at the top of my head there's probably more stuff that happened my brain just can't remember it the only thing that happened to me as far as with billy was that we were playing volleyball and we both went to jump for the ball and his arm like went under brushed up against my boob and came up inside between my hands and i'd like genuinely think that was an accident because we were both jumping for the volleyball so like I will give him that but still the sexual jokes about like when we're trying to eat lunch and stuff like that and just unnecessary comments and looks I think that's a little excessive we don't really know what to call it did you hear that He's like done other stuff to our friends and like probably other stuff we don't know about. Okay, I think that's it. I mean, we're probably just being dramatic. It just made us uncomfortable. Experiences that made us uncomfortable. Girl things. There's someone coming. There's someone coming. There's someone coming. Oh, what about the fall? Wait, wait, get go. Oh, okay. That's um. Hold on. Right. Um, that's what I'm saying. We don't have to. Have Cause I can go like Girl, that's a little <laughs> bit too close. <laughs> like here. Yeah, that's good. I really don't care if you like flirt with other people. Honestly, it was just like almost like it was almost like I had a fear of being replaced because of how well you two got along the first day. But yeah, I have a fear of abandonment, and I already told him that, and he reassured me many times that he was never gonna replace me. I'm very sorry for being like that. It's not my fault. Well, it is. I'm just scared that you're gonna replace me and never talk to me again. More of the story, I was scared you were gonna replace me. It may have been a little bit of jealousy too, but we don't talk about it. I have issues. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and I had like six topics but I'm probably gonna cut out a lot because <laughs> it's gonna be an extremely long video to edit first of all. That and some of them are a little controversial and don't need to be said. Mm -hmm. But it is okay, please don't cancel us. <laughs> so hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see I'll see you guys next week. You won't see her for God knows how long. Bye bye.